I want to talk about one of the more remarkable stories of injury and a surgery to treat that injury in sports ever, and that's Tommy John surgery. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Tommy John surgery, it's a fascinating story. I, I don't know if you know the story and I'm just gonna very briefly summarize it here. I've been lucky enough to actually talk to Tommy John about it a number of years ago and he was actually not the first person ever to suffer that injury. It was described, I think in 1946, first in elite javelin throwers but he was the first athlete to have surgery for it. We think a number of people, a number of baseball pitchers, actually suffered it before that. Dr. Frank Job, who did the surgery on Tommy John, it's been reported that he actually thought Sandy Koufax actually had an ulnar collateral ligament injury. But basically, it's an injury to the ulnar collateral ligament on the inside of the elbow that protects against valgus stress with the pitching motion, and it wears out over time. So this is an injury that typically occurs over years and years of pitching. But Tommy John basically suffered one of these injuries, and he, the, he thought was, his career was over. Dr. Job says, hey, look, you know, if it's, you know, we get in there and, and it's torn in the middle of the ligament, you know, you basically, uh, you have two options. Basically, you know, have no chance of pitching again, or you can have this surgery that we've never tried before, and you have a one in a hundred chance of getting back. Terrible odds, right? But he, uh, Tommy John, decided to have the surgery in 1974 and the rest is history. Got back to pitch, and I think he pitched for like 13 more years. Basically, what it is, is they, uh, Dr. Job took a tendon from the wrist. It's called the palmaris longus. It's there, 15% uh, of people don't have one, but most everybody else does. You take the tendon, usually from the opposite, the non-throwing wrist, move that tendon to the inside of the elbow, drill holes in the bones past that tendon, and it becomes a new ligament. In that sense, it's similar to an ACL surgery where you're making a new ACL. Here, you're making a new UCL. Now, for complete ulnar collateral ligament tears in throwing athletes, it's really hard to get back to the same level of pitching, same level of throwing with a complete tear. So you're talking about a surgery, and yes, unfortunately, it's about a year-long recovery uh, and getting back to sports. For partial tears in throwing athletes, sometimes you can try physical therapy or sometimes injections like platelet-rich plasma and get that to heal on its own. Some partial tears, that doesn't work and you end up needing to have surgery. Now, if you suffer one of these injuries, but you're not a throwing athlete, so maybe an NBA player or a, a player in football that's not the quarterback, or you're just, you know, you work and you exercise, but you're not a throwing athlete, you very likely don't need surgery for an ulnar collateral ligament injury. But for basically baseball pitchers, who are the majority of the injuries, you end up needing to have surgery. Now, I talk a lot in my new book, That's Gotta Hurt the Injury that changed sports forever about Tommy John's situation and another Major League Baseball pitcher where it was a big deal when he suffered an injury and tried to figure out when he was safe to come back. So you definitely want to check that out. But I talk about how this injury has, you know, went from being an injury that only happened in Major League and professional baseball pitchers, but it's trickled down into the college level, the high school level, and even, you know, eighth graders. It's, it's really uh, a scary trend, and I talk about why that's happening and maybe what we can do to prevent these injuries in young athletes. I think it's really important, so check that out. Below this video, there's a link to a site that'll take you to the order forms, tghbook.com. TGH stands for That's Gotta Hurt. tghbook.com. You'll see links to Amazon, to Barnes & Noble. Get your copy today. I think you'll find it very, very informative. If you purchase it before that book's officially available for sale June 6th, you can get all kinds of pre-bonuses, um, you know, honestly for free. Courses, eBooks related to sports and exercise injuries, making sports safer, all kinds of stuff I think you'll find 
entertaining if you're a sports fan. I think you'll find it helpful and really informative if you're a parent of kids who play sports or you just like to play sports and exercise. You'll get all that free if you order it before June 6th. If you're watching it after the books became available, still go to TGH Book. There's still gonna be some free things that you get if you enter the order number from the email confirmation that you send. So tghbook.com. I think this book has a tremendously important message. Uh, again, not just for people who like to watch sports, but really, anybody that's trying to stay active, stay healthy, play sports, but stay out of the doctor's office and stay out of the operating room, honestly, to perform your best. So get your copy of that book today. That's got to hurt the injuries that change sports forever. If you have friends whose kids pitch in baseball or overhead throwing sports, definitely share this video. Please share this video with them so they can watch it, their kids can watch it, and hopefully avoid Tommy John injuries themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Get your copy of That's Gotta Hurt right now. Click the link below, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.